Oop, that didn't work. And good afternoon. Um, yeah, I do seem to have issues um, there. Hang on, bear with me. Okay, we're not going to get any notifications or any chat up. I'll try and sort that in a second. Yes, good afternoon. Um, yes, welcome. We're back in uh, X Plane, where we haven't been in a little while. Um, we are here in Grand Canaria. Yes, Grand Canaria. And going to do a bit of island hopping uh, around the Canaries. Going to go um, just south of where we are now, 11 miles, and then hook over to, um, uh, to Fuerteventura. Um, so I'm just trying to multitask and add in um, some stuff into there um, and I'm joined for these little flights by uh, the guy parked to my left uh, which is uh, Mr Chris Brown good afternoon Chris good afternoon uh, and coming up somewhere uh, from behind uh, mm. it, <laughs> is uh, Captain Chaos good afternoon Chaos good afternoon passengers uh, God, you haven't got any passengers in there as well have you uh, those poor people <clears throat> and uh, yes so we're here in Gran Canaria and we're going to take off let me just show you on the little nav map I think. Uh, this is where we are in Gran Canaria and we're going to go around to here first El Berriel so a whole 11 mile flight uh, for the first one um, so that's what can possibly go wrong with that and I'm in my little 172 I've gone for the standard version and not the G1000 version as well so going to get very very brave so we'll fling it into life and fire it up there we go nav's on that's on isn't there another switch i have to press for this one which is there get the other there we go so we are into life how much fuel has this thing got hopefully enough to get through yeah half tank of fuel that's good it's good well yes right so you're there you're there so we've got to take off uh, going back the other way so out to the runway here in front of us take off going the way that you two just come up from and then um, slight right turn and land again <coughs> be my guest I'll follow you all out go on in Chris I'll just follow Chris it's easier I'll pretend I know where I'm going. <laughs> well, that's good. All right. My track handle seems to be different in this thing that is the other one. All right, brakes off. See, you don't need any of these 400 checklists, or you're supposed to do a checklist in this thing. Get in, put the fuel on, put the electrics on, start. Definitely my sort of plane. And try not to run into the back of Chris. I mean, like I'll try to run in the back of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're not even going down to the end of the runway. You're going to take off from here. Here's good. So I'm going to hand fly it. Ooh, well, good. Where am I going? Um, I'm going to hand fly it as well. So I'm not even going to put the autopilot on for this one. I will for the next one. <laughs> it's all going to end in tears, I can see it. Well, it's 11 miles. How bad can it be? Very. <laughs> <laughs> this is only my third flight, and they're making me do it without any <laughs> Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay, I shouldn't have parked here behind Chris. I just realised that. I should have oh, waited. Oh, we're on the slip road. Yeah, you should wait back there at those that line, which I should have waited as well. But no, Chris is on the move. So yeah, Captain Chaos is behind me. No one's Chris is airborne. Chris is airborne. Yeah, in the air. All right, in that case. I will go as well. Ooh. He's moving. Well, to me, Chris is just slewing across the runway. Oh, no, now he's in oh, here. Let's see him up in the air. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you could refrain from screaming, we're all going to die for the next hour, that'd be great. <laughs> well, it should only take seven minutes. But it's case like I lost. Well, just take off and just follow the coast. Or follow Steve and myself. Yeah, all that. Well, that's the plan. And providing we don't get lost, you'll be okay. To me, I can't beat this little plane. Although, it is nice being in a G1000, but I do like having all these proper gauges. And what sort of height are we going? Uh, whatever, I'm currently at 300 feet. Yeah, oh, 500 is good. Flying with friends, exactly. It just adds another dimension to uh, doing some flight in X-Plane when you can fly with a few of you. This is harder than driving a truck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you haven't got a sort of V1 rotate in in a truck. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have, at least. Yeah, <laughs> you're going a bit quick if that happens. So, yeah. oh, what's that beep mean? What beep? Have you put the autopilot on? No, I ain't got the autopilot on. What was I going to put the autopilot on? We don't put anything in the sat nav thing. <laughs> well, yeah, you can for the next leg. What people in this town don't know what's about to fly over them. No. So, what was in the uh, update then? Uh, airports, upgraded airports, upgraded ATC. Um, Particles are still on the graphics. Yeah. Wow, that looks good. Oh, we can hear someone's playing. That was me. Okay. I was just doing an outside quick view. Uh, then I thought better not because I'm actually trying to fly it. <laughs> you might crash. <laughs> Only thing missing is an air balloon, and that would have been perfect. Well, yeah. Why do so you seem a lot higher than you two? Because you're probably a lot higher than us two. Well, where am I? 580 feet? Yeah, I'm at uh, 400 feet. Oh, right. Well, let's put the things out then. Realise we're all going to land you... in pretty close su succession. Did you set your barometric pressure before you landed? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done all that. <laughs> what <are you> talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's set automatically now, slightly cheaty. Right, so we should be seeing a runway soon. Yep, I can see it. Okay, I'm probably a bit low. Let's climb a little bit. So it's going to be over there somewhere. Are you pointing? Because I can't see where you're pointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pointing doesn't really work, does it? It's, it's over no. there. <laughs> um, it's on the coast. I, ca I can't see it yet. It's kind of on a little thing which sticks out just after the tiny town. Oh yeah, that's a great help, Chris. Thanks. So it's on the land then somewhere. It's, well, yeah, unless we're landing on the aircraft carrier. Another yeah. first for you, Chaos. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. I probably come straight off the end, though. Well, you managed <laughs> that when we landed on the land on Wednesday. That was pretty much like an aircraft carrier. Right, according to a little nav map, I'm pretty much heading straight for it. Let me use the... Uh, Zoom. Is that it? Oh, I can see it. Oh, I can... Yeah, I have the runway in sight. Well, I've got to back off so I don't 
undertake Chris because that wouldn't be very good. Yeah, and I better back off from you. Because Chris is a lot higher than me as well. See, it's probably against FAA regulations coming in uh, this close together. <laughs> Let me fly as against FAA <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, Chris is still worryingly above me. <laughs> and I'm above you. <laughs> and I'm pretty much on the final approach to the runway. We're very, very low. Coming in across the water. Um, I think I'm about to overtake you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I slowed down to try and let Chris land in front of me, but... Well, I've slowed down to about 102. Well, I've lost sight of Chris now. He's just going in towards the runway now. No, that's a bit low. I can't see you now. You must be right underneath my plane. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting then, isn't it? Oh my, good God. Okay. Oh, there you are. Well, I'm about, I'm about to touch down. Chris is to your right. This could be like a dual landing. This could be a triple landing at this rate. A little bit of a bounce. Oh, don't land yet, Chris. Oh, 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 yeah, that was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? Um. <laughs> you haven't crashed yet, have you? Oh. Um. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um. I seem to be on fire. <laughs> You're on fire? <laughs> Oops. Uh, my plane might be in bits and I'm on fire. <laughs> We do appear to be on your side, from what I can see. Yeah, I'm actually on fire in bits. <laughs> so, so the landing went well, then, is what we're saying. On down. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Chris go? Warm, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's a bit warm. Um, I can't see Chris at all. Plane. Yeah, yeah, new plane, please. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me just take a quick screenshot of that. Oh god, was it? Shift shift and Twelve? Uh shift and space. Oh shift and space. Yeah, so it's Captain Chaos down there on his uh, on his side. You crashed, would you like to start a new flight? Um Yes. Probably best idea. Probably a good idea. I don't know where Chris went. You still you do you want to do a go around, Chris? Over by the hangers. Yep, I'm over by the hangers. Oh yeah, there you are. Right, so Chaos needs to restart then. Um, so let me look at, uh, let me bring little nav map in then while we're doing that. So that was a very short little hop. So now we're going to go to uh, Fuerteventura then. So go to GCFV. So oh look, my plane's in one piece again. Hey! So let's set that as a destination. So there we go. Then when we're in flight, I'll pick a, I'll pick something at the end um, to bring me in. So that's where we're going. Uh, Ninety-six nautical miles this time across the oh, across the Fort Ventura, and it's saying we need to be at three and a half thousand feet. So where are we going now? Fort Ventura. So GCFV. So pop that back over there. Now I pop inside the plane. Um, I think direct to, and we're going to G. Oop. 
see. Okay, mouse in the right place. FV, Photo Ventura. There we go. Activate. Thank you. So it's a heading of uh, 69. So plumb that in the thing. GCFV. And we want to be at an altitude of, what do we say, three and a half thousand. Maybe and straight across the runway so we can take off in the right direction. Are you what were there? Wind is going straight across the runway, so it doesn't really matter which way we take off, so we may as well take off from here. From the south. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I need the whole runway, probably need no, I'll just take off from here. Right, Chaos is hopefully yeah, he's back in behind. Yeah, I'm just um clearing. configuring. Yeah. Right, so GCLP is G C so we're also using um, FS Cloud, so which is a bit that makes us uh, appear to each other. So that shows us all in uh, FS Cloud, which is quite cool. And yeah, so there's the route plumbed into uh, little nav map. So going from here straight across to Fuerteventura, and then uh, maybe not, or uh, well, probably not today, um, but the next time we'll hop on up to Lanzagrotti and then back down to the mainland before we carry on our adventure uh, down here. So yeah, we just do this uh, this leg. I don't want to go from there. What's it doing? Are you having issues? Yes. I know, I'll have to do another flight plans. Chris is there, he's ready to take off. Yeah, I know, but it takes me while to sort no, of fine. junk out. <laughs> right, it's, um, it's a nice day for it. It is, eh? We haven't had many good days at our flights. No, <laughs> flying over winter, you can't guarantee the weather, can you? We did come into here in, in the dark, wasn't it, on Wednesday night, going to uh, Grand Canaria. That was interesting. I didn't bet you if it was light, we'd have had clouds. Yeah. And uh, this Wednesday, we'll um, make our way down to Key West and land on the water. Awesome. Yeah, what's going to possibly go wrong with that? Why is it showing no to fins on my... So yeah, definitely quite nice to be in the non um, G1000 version. As much as I like the uh, the G1000, um, it's actually quite nice to see all the uh, all the gauges in this. Although we have got a 530, two 530s in fact, um, but only using the um, the top one. Um, that needs to be on GPS. There we go. So I will be using the um, autopilot for this one. But we'll take off in uh, heading mode and heading roughly the right direction then I'll put the autopilot on. So strobes are on. Taxi light won't bother with because we're right next to the runway. Are the lights don't where were those? Yeah, that's on, that's on. Set. Right. Are you done? Almost. It gets it, once you've done it a few times, it does get uh, it does get easier. GCLD, GCFV. Yeah, what you can do if you're flying from one place to another place, you can highlight the place you just landed at and move shift that leg up in the little nav map, and then just click on the place you want to go to and put that as a destination. Yeah, I've got a little nav map set. Out. I'm just doing me sat navy thing. Now. Oh, the autopilot. Okay. And then now I'm 
can't do that. We want to do it the other way around. Once chaos is done, we would be departing. So Chris is already sat there, eagerly waiting. Yeah, not to wait from here. No, no, that's fine. And uh, yeah, I need to redo the skins for these planes because that's the old Sims and stuff um, livery now. It does look really, really good though. The detail in this is just awesome. Yeah, that's what I want to go for. I'm pressing enter, why is that not going in? You're putting where you're going to, not where you're going from in the G1000. Yeah, I got slipped with departure, which is L, very L, where we are now. Just put a direct to flight. Uh, waypoint information, Fort Ventura. Come on, Chaos, sort it out, holding the damn show up, says Tux. Who's he? Does he want to come out and fly on my plane? <laughs> you can go sit next to him, Tuck. Show him how it's done. I, I, I think that's right, anyway. I don't, we'll find out. Uh, where are you two? Right next to the runway. Oh, yeah. Look out your co pilot's window. Co pilot? God, that'd be a brave person. What? <laughs> that would be a really brave person to get in that Stupid. passenger seat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Last one burnt to death. <laughs> Don't ask me, says Tux. I have no idea. I'll just follow you guys. Yeah, the last co pilot. Yeah, chaos is moving. The last I'm on co pilot is in bits. Going, going the wrong way, but he's moving. Ah, it doesn't make any difference. I'm on my way. <laughs> right, you can take off before me now, Chaos. Really? So, well, you can follow Chris. Okay. Here we go. Here he comes. Anyway. So yeah, we'll make the dash across to uh, Fuerteventura and then um, that'll be it for this uh, this trip or for this stream. I may linger around and do some more flying afterwards. Alright. He's behind you, Mr. Brown. <laughs> 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 Panic! Come on, I don't know where the brakes are. <laughs> Chris is on the move. Yeah, don't oh no, he isn't. <laughs> Says Tux. Oh, I wonder why I couldn't see. I've got track. I'm paused. There we go. I mean, I'll just check there's nothing coming. <laughs> there shouldn't be, hopefully. <laughs> oh, he's doing a rolling start, a rolling takeoff. I told you I know where the brakes are. Yeah, we're not going we're, that way. I don't want to go that way. We're not. Well, that's the way you got to go. We're not using ATC or yeah, anything. On bloody tarmac, am I? Now we're up. Uh, hi, Morgan. <laughs> you look like you're off-roading to me. Now we're good. We're in the air. Okay, right. Let me uh, let me make a move then. So the pilot is on. That's a good start. Is he going to take you in the right direction? Now we'll press the nav button. Now we find out. Well, the plane's turning. Keep up at the back, says Tux. I am keeping up. It's climbing to 1,500 feet, so that's good. There we go. Right, AP on, altitude, heading. Um, although I do seem to be going out to sea. Well, we, we're going to another island, so... Oh, that's good then. Right, so Chris is there. Where's, uh, where are you going, Chaos? Uh, round a circle, I think. I thought I had it right, but maybe I didn't um, have it right. <laughs> right, go to heading, uh, set your heading to, um, 
69 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at Steam Flash, not using G1000. Exactly. I like this. I like the Steam Gauge version. 69 degrees. 69, says Tux. Okay, I've set it at 69 then. And then put it going to heading mode, and that should take you in the right direction then. Oh, I'm turning again now, that's good. Well, that's, yeah, handy. <laughs> why, is that not, why is that not showing up on my... Right, so Chris is out there in front. And Chaos is... Oh, you got, were you there? That's, that's good. It's turning. I don't know what I've done. I must have done something wrong with my little nav map because... Yeah, it's probably because if you use if you move the S tux, it's not good. Right, so we are off, leaving uh, the lovely island of uh, Gran Canaria. It was a short visit. We arrived on Wednesday night in the dark. We've just flown literally from there. You can see the place. So that's where we took off from just now, and that's where we just <laughs> that's where we landed. Um, and now we're off to Fuerteventura. So out over the sea. <laughs> well, hopefully. Maybe not. Well, they, they are heading the right direction now, Chaos. We're all good. So, yeah. Um, afternoon, Sam. You should be here, Sam. Where are you? I don't know why it's saying three and a half thousand feet. Actually, I think it's because of the descent into Puerto Ventura. Well, I know we're near three and a half thousand feet. <laughs> well, I'm not now. I'm at uh, I'm just over two thousand. Well, ideally, we're going to be landing north. So when you see the big mountain, turn left, go around. But there's a bank names. Yeah, I'm going to set a landing for the north. Oh, stop from the north. Oh, well, you say that. No. And where, what are you doing now, Chaos? You should be flying. Oh, don't try to play me, put the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> the landing light keeps coming. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Right, so I can now, in theory, set a, a waypoint um, to take me to the end of the, uh, the runway. Navigation 101, follow the plane in front. That's the way to do it. See, I'm following Chris. Chaos is back there, sort of following me. Well, I'm sort of out here over the sea. I can't catch fire in the sea. Well, you can sink. Well, I've done that before, but at least I've been yeah. burned to death. Right, how are we doing engine-wise? Oh, we're in uh, just about at the top of the green so let's just back it off a little tiny bit there we go about two and a half thousand revs hey there's nothing wrong with putting milk in first we're not going to start this argument here Oh, for God's sake, is he going on about bloody tea again? Yeah, there is. There's an argument going on now. Yeah, but they're uncouth northerners. They don't have a clue. Boring old PG tips. Go oh, look at you with the PG tips gold. Right. So now we're flying straight and level. Let's have a look at a uh, little nav map and see if we can find somewhere that I can then use as a point to turn in. So up here, I think. I was just there in um, firm bus earlier. A no firm bus, tourist bus. Uh, what about there? D three five four L. I aim for that and then use that as a point to come in. So if I change my navigation now to take me to there, D three five four L, that'll take me across the island and I can come in from the north. So let's do that then. Alright, 
So pop out that. If you pardon the pun. Um, we'll go. Cool. <laughs> oh, Sam's ex uh, PC's in bits. You're relocating some items so I can fit the Xbox One on the shelf. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jerry, thanks so much for the follow. Oh. Right, so we're going to go direct to. You're about to stall there by sounds of things, Chaos. Uh, no, I'm actually trying to stop crashing into the sea. Yeah, F full throttle, pull up. No, I think I asked Teddy to pilot off and now I'm. Um, Trying uh, to fight this manually. <laughs> and we all know what happened last time. It didn't end well last time. No. Uh, I need to get some height. Why don't I go the long way around the alphabet? D35. Four. Oh, Canary Islands. So. Activate. Okay, we're using that as our direct two now. Oh, I don't understand what's going on. Every time I put the oil pilot on, it wants to dive. Uh, flying to. There you go. Fort oh, Ventura. Yeah, don't put the autopilot sure. on then. No, I just have to follow you. Check what your altitude and yeah. vertical speed. It's, it's going to be the altitude set in the autopilot is going to be your problem. Yes, I'll just do it manually. It's an hour's flight. Oh, God. Well, 40 minutes now, actually. Steve's cheating using GPS. Yeah, but I'm setting a waypoint. I'm not actually going direct to the runway like I used to. I'm being all flash. So, yeah, it's your altitude, Tux. Uh, tux? Chaos. Oh, God, don't insult me like that. Um, set your altitude to uh, 3,500. And I'm not in the G1000 version, so I can't explain to you how to do it. <laughs> uh, if you turn on the autopilot and then push out, it should capture your current altitude and fly your level at least. Okay. Always said chaos had an altitude. <laughs> right. Okay, well, oh, and they're just right. diving. Well, chaos is behind me. But with just climbing to at least a couple of thousand feet chaos I've lost um, Chris altogether I can see both of you named in front of me unless he's directly above me nope off to your left or in front no can't see you uh, yes yeah, really cool skin oh no there you go you're off to my left and behind me according to this Yeah, it's got the old uh, Simpson stuff logo on it. Yes, it, well, there was a period where it had one wooden wing, um, which did look pretty cool. You're, you're having issues there still, Chaos. Yeah, I am. So here we are on um, FS Cloud. So Chaos, is, is you're heading in the right direction. Yeah, climb three and a half thousand feet. Put your autopilot on. Climb three and a half thousand feet. <laughs> And then uh, press your out button. If you need more flying, I can highly recommend investing in one of the side tech panels because that just does it all for you. Yeah, I'd maybe well get one of those. See what fun's like next month. We haven't crashed into the sea yet, so that's something. I almost did. No. <laughs> it was those I had to pull up movements. <laughs> Well, so was it Wednesday night you ended up, um, you ran off the end of the runway and ended up in the water. Today you've got me in the fireball. Yeah. So you're doing, you're doing well. <laughs> well, considering you haven't actually flown much, you are doing quite well. well I still managed to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Never a dull moment, is it? No. That is just why you should come for a flight with me. <laughs> yeah. Look at those boring fuddy duddies. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, yes, it is a default 172. Um, the non G1. I've been flying a lot in the G1000 version. But yeah, this is the default version, which I think still looks absolutely brilliant. It's it's really, really, really well done. Uh, my, no, pl my plane of choice bad. is the Kodiak. Yeah, 
um, the quest Kodiak, which is brilliant. Sorry, Chaos. Only flight plan on the uh, G1 Phasen. Yes. I've got GCLP highlighted, but GCFV with an arrow next to it. Is that right? GCFB should have a pink arrow next to it. Yeah, that's the one I got next to it. So that's the that's correct in there. So that's it? where you're going then. Right. Okay. Before I put the autopilot back on. Right, put so Leo the Bodnar mod on that yoke, and it's different again. What the hell is? That Cessna is far too stable. I've got the autopilot on. Of course, I've got the autopilot on. It's got an autopilot. Why wouldn't you use it? Yeah, I want to do some more um, flight uh, videos. I want to do something with the um, some of the obscure planes that we've got. Certainly the Kodiak, which isn't really obscure, um, but a little um, Trinidad and the Tobago. Uh, stunning, stunning little planes. Are you beeping from you again, Chaos? You still having issues? I don't understand this autopilot altitude things. Every time I press, I press autopilot, then press altitude, it drops. That's good because you've got it set at a lower altitude then. I've got it set at 4,400 feet. <laughs> it's your, your vertical speed then. Okay, try this. Put the autopilot on, click VS, and then click nose up and watch on the display to the right of the speed. You should have a, a climb indicator which goes up as you push. So autopilot on VS and then click nose up. Yeah, I've done that. And Keep clicking those up until it climbs. Second. Well, I got VS plus 500. So you should be climbing. Cool. You turn the altitude off. AP is a proper planes. What? No. Nope. AP comes on these planes, then you should be able to use AP on these planes. Well, Chaos is still behind. Chris is still behind. Oh, Chaos is climbing. I can see an increased no. height. No, he's crushed. He's going down again. So you can turn autopilot on, turn the altitude off, but click oh, VS and nose up. Pilot's on. Altitude off. Yes. And click the nose up button. Right. So I've got my hands off the thing, everything's on. And we're still going down. And that's just um, Oh, hang on, we're leveling, we're leveling. Press nose up again, you should start the climb then. There we go. Just if I got in the right direction. I used to have issues with it. Sometimes um, the autopilot just wouldn't engage. Yeah, <laughs> but you've got to think calmly. Again, that's where this panel does. I just literally set it all before I take off. Take off, hit AP, nav, out, and it takes off, climbs the altitude that you've got it set on the panel, and heads and follows the nav. So, slightly cheaty, but you know. Uh, Jerry used to fly X Plane 10, X Plane 11, and so this is the 11.3 version that's out now as well. So if Why you is my plane turning right? <laughs> what? You shouldn't be. Have you come You're off? My left. Have you come plane off nav? Right. Have you got nav still on? Or have you got heading? You can either go heading mode. Put heading on. Uh, heading. Got heading 069. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. It's turning back again now. If you looked at my little dotty line on the little nav map, it looks quite weird. <laughs> yeah, because it follows you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sort of goes right in the circle. <laughs> yeah, you get. Um, there was mines. Yeah, I've come. We only put this on when we went from the other night. So in and down, and then round, and then back out again. So now it's going to come. Uh, land there and then next time we'll go up to um, Lanza Grotti which that again is going to be a non-nav flight because that's so um, that's so close together 
So take off uh, from there and fly to land to Grotty. That's easy. And then we'll come back down to the mainland. So far, Chaos has done an extra 30 miles due to altitude and heading fluctuations. Is that all? 13? <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got fuel I got left. Uh, that's okay, it's in the green. Right, so you've got 31 minutes before we land. And there's an island in front of us. I'm guessing that's the southern tip of uh, Fuerteventura over here. Which it is. So we've got a ground speed of 127 knots, distance to go of 65 uh, miles, and uh, time of 30 minutes. But that's not to land at the runway for me, that's to get to the waypoint I've set. But that's going to be a right hand turn onto the runway heading, uh, and then to land. Hopefully. And the runway heading we want. Clean the windscreen, you scruff it. Offends my OCD. I can't do anything about the windscreen. Can't clean it. Um, so the runway information we want for where we're going. So we're coming in on. Uh, oh, the following mode does annoy me on this. Um, so we're coming in on 19. So we click on runways. Uh, runway 19, so we've got heading on one, 186, so that's what we want to be coming in on. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just you could come in from the south because it might be easier. Yeah, I probably will. Uh, I too much. Yeah, Jerry. No, I don't. Isn't that quite obvious that I don't? Uh, right, so I'm going to put that into there already. So the heading bug. Uh, nope. Why are you turning? You should be in nav mode, not heading mode. I can if I put mine in nav mode, it goes off and over the sea somewhere. Not completely the wrong way. Oh, no, okay. No, mine doesn't like being in uh, in heading mode. In nav mode. Okay, so no, I'll... um got I'll your put... CDR and GPS. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, do you have a fly in X-Plane? Hey, we're not here for the first leg. That was hand-flown between those two airports. Yeah, and I'm pretty much right next to the line as well. It's just not liking nav mode. Hang on a minute, you're up in the air, that's fly, isn't it? <laughs> right, yeah, it's on GPS. But if I move the heading... Uh... Wait, I have to excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, so I have to go and pop down and put the oven on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just abandon your passengers! Very right. fine. This chaos goes to put the oven on. Um, I'm getting myself confused, aren't I now? Hang on, let's just uh, so 60. Hang on, why is that? Chaos has passengers. We are some serious maniacs on the loose. Yeah, to fly a, a heading of. There's something wrong with this. Did you align your gyro? No, but it should be automatically doing that with that Lua script. True. Unless then that's we had 11.3. <laughs> set the gyro heading it should be already set 
yeah that's why I'm, I'm according to the um, uh, panel I'm flying at 78 degrees yet yeah, according to the uh, GPS I'm actually flying at 61 that could be a bit of a problem yeah but I'm heading in the right direction so wind drift not that far out I think it's a fly with Lewis script it's not relying the um, GPS yeah so I'm on track at 62 degrees yet my my SciTech panel is saying I'm flying at 78 and I've actually got it in nav mode not heading mode Could be me being a donut. Bear with me, caller. No, hang on. I think it is working. No, it is me. Well, it was, uh, <clears throat> I didn't have it in editing mode. I had it in nav mode. <laughs> and it wasn't following in nav mode. Actually, it might have been. Yeah, <laughs> Muppet indeed. But hang on, if I actually turn it in, even I'm in nav mode, if I turn it, it follows it. Oh, I'm just going to leave it That's alone. I'm just going to leave it in nav mode. No, we should have flown the G1000 version. Right, Chaos is flying straight and level behind me. Chris is flying straight and level behind me. We've got 24 minutes to go. So that should now turn me slightly to maintain, which it is. There you go. So it is actually flying in nav mode. Oh God, don't you both start on flipping Nightbot. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave poor Nightbot alone. What's he done to you? on out on there's obviously something I've not done but oh well it's getting there him that's a bit presumptuous well you know I oh oh god I configured him so it's a him yeah. he does what I uh, set it to do that's yeah, all good we're still up in the air he's been off he's put his chicken in the oven in the back of the plane <laughs> Yeah, as I opened the fridge, his tin of beer fell out. Oh, dangerous, that. It's good job I caught it. Yeah, did it fall open as well? Strangely enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm counting down the days when I have a beer. I'm well on your holidays. 20, 24 days, I think. Oh yes. Now you got another twenty minutes. Uh, yeah, come on, mate. It's two thousand nineteen. There are around sixteen genders that Nightbot could be. Yeah, LGBTQ something. What? Yeah, there's another. They've added another letter on, I think. Yeah, Sam's making Sam's adding his Xbox to his uh, gaming setup. Peasant. Well, there's a few well, of us I, now. I had high expectations of Sam, and it's, it's just gone downhill. 
Well, he's becoming more of one of us each each time now. Looks like I'm going to be the only common sense one left. Really? God, that doesn't say much, does it? <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no hope for any of us then, really. <laughs> right, so flying along this, this is probably somewhere where I got lost in um, in the tourist bus video that's coming out on Friday. Sam yeah. will be assimilated yeah. eventually, says Tux. You all turn into the dark side. Well, no, I, I, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm never going to go completely over to console gaming again. Yeah, but, that's what you say now. Well, no, but occasionally it is con convenient. One day it'd be, oh, I might just flick on the PC for half hour. <sighs> oh, then, oh, oh, nine hours later, I'm still on the Xbox. Uh, don't chaos, says Sam. It's best you have low expectations of me, then you won't be disappointed. Funny enough, I had the same with Steve. It was that for a part time, yeah. <laughs> and then was disappointed. no more convenient than firing up the PC uh, actually now with the speed this thing takes um, firing up on the SSD this is probably quicker to get up and do something than the Xbox is soon there will be cobwebs on it oh god no never can't do X-Plane on a peasant box well no this is true can't do, oh, um, do yes on a peasant box can't do tourist bus can't, can't do train do. sim <laughs> I remember a time when you wouldn't use the PC Monday to Friday exactly that was the time I turned the PC off on a Sunday afternoon, wouldn't turn it on again until the following Saturday. Well, it's only Wednesday now I'm turning it on, really. It's any difference. When it goes off this afternoon, it won't go back on again until Wednesday. Mine's on every night. Um, but yeah, I'm um, sort of getting stuck into Game of Thrones. So if I wasn't watching Game of Thrones, then I'd be on here. And flight simming becomes comes before all else. Yeah, this and um, train sim I'm really enjoying at the moment. He says that now, but you'll soon be getting photos from Sam with like cars, with less and less planes. Oh yeah, Sam's got train sim mode on Xbox, so you can play it. Yeah, I haven't looked at those on the Xbox. I must try and blag a copy just to do a comparison. See what they're like on the Xbox compared to the PC. I haven't done anything in Train Sim World. I might do that this Friday, actually. Do some Train Sim World. Do something in the um, in the heavy hall. Yeah, we'll do that this Friday. And then um, put that out the following Wednesday. That works. What Sam could do with his name, actually, if you just get rid of the Alpha Mike, and you could just be a Sierra. That's true. Yeah, that's what you'd be soon. It'll be Ford, Sierra, Ford, Alpha Mike. Sierra. Yeah. Well, it'll be no Alpha Mike. It'll just be Ford, Sierra. Maybe GL on the end. <laughs> hey, he's, he's not a GL. <laughs> Golf, Golf Lima. He's, yeah. he's, a pop, he's a popular plus. <laughs> oh. He's a base model. Or be a modern Mondeo. Hey, not wrong with a Mondeo. I've got a clean says mind. The man, says a man who drives around in his... Um, Sideboard in it. Is that what Joy's running? Ooh, Tux. Yeah. It got a Mercedes. Is that it? There's like a sideboard inside, isn't it? Um yeah, Sierra Alpha Cosworth, says Sam. Ah see what you did there. Right, how are we doing? Chaos is still there, heading roughly the right direction. Chris is still over there. We're gonna be flanked on either side. We have got you surrounded. <laughs> <coughs> Surrender now. So, here we are on the journey. So, doing well. 35 miles to destination, 25 miles top of descent. But that's thinking I'm going to land at an airport. Well, that's not. That's the waypoint I've set, which isn't... Um, actually, no, I haven't set it in this, have I? Um, so, that thing's we're going. So, we're going to come in up here and land from the north. And there we are, our little nav map. All flying in exactly the same direction, which is unusual. It's the first time for everything, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
planes are safer than cars however exactly the amount of people that are transported really? planes <laughs> are safer than cars safest form of transport more people are killed on the roads every day than they're killed in the plane he obviously hasn't been in my plane has he <laughs> well no there is that <laughs> so if you fly around the right hand side of the island chaos if you want to hand well no uh, you're not direct well, no, you should be okay is that the island in front of us? That's yeah, that's Fort Ventura, yeah. <laughs> I might want to go to my right then. Because yeah, Damn, well, that means I have to take off the arrow. Well, the no, thing. you can just change your heading slightly. You just knock your heading around a couple of degrees, and it will turn you right. Okay. So if you fly around the right-hand side of the island, eventually the airport will appear in front of you. Okay, we'll change the heading a little bit. If you're going to land from the south. Uh, yeah, it's closer for me. I should carry on on my plan to land from the north. But yeah, may, may very well stream uh, Wednesday night's um, flight. Uh, I used to have a Mercedes, says Tux. Then the wife had a Focus and I used a van to get to work. Then Junior learned to drive. Now Junior has a Focus. Her indoors has a Mercedes and I have a rusty van. Oh. Uh, have I turned off the weather? No. Weather's on. It's just a glorious day in the Canary Islands. It is. lovely flight this would be to do uh, be to do no this would be in uh, IRL so yes Wednesday night flight where we're going to be uh, in Florida um, going from wherever the hell it was somewhere in Florida uh, down across to Key West in the 172s but with floats on the bottom uh, I may stream that on Wednesday night because landing on water is going to be hilarious. It's easy. I don't know. Well, yeah, you weren't meant to land on the water at that point. It's, I was just taking an advanced course. <laughs> and uh, Sam tried to land on water, put his anchor down too quick and capsized. Put his what? Sorry? <laughs> he put his anchor. He's he got anchor, yeah. Uh, not keen on IRL, says Tux. The graphics are next level, but the storyline is scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for mine to end. Um, well, according to little nav map, I got zero wind. Oh, sorry, four. Oh, sorry. I've got 12 knots from the southeast. I got 14 knots from the southeast. Yeah, I got zero. Or four. Uh, water is a boat, says Sam. That's very correct, Sam. But that's why I haven't got weather turned on. I haven't changed anything since the last time <coughs> I did it. There's nothing, however, to say that boats can't fly. Mm. There are flying boats. Which is technically a plane. So yes, I'm now, uh, Steve has naught knots from the north, yeah, they always did like to be different, exactly. Uh, 12 minutes to go before I arrive at my destination. green for fuel that's good yeah having fuel is always a plus hmm. well enough fuel to get you there wow and uh, yeah Sam's got quite a few um, Xbox One games we just posted a picture FIFA, 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 Forza 5, 
GTA 5 Guitar Hero oh dear uh, yes. Madden Mortal Kombat NBA Live NBA uh, 2016 Pro Evo Soccer Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and some wrestling what? and Dead Rising he's a wow. bigger peasant than I thought yeah what have I got above me I've got Forza Forza uh, Project Cars Farming Sim Far Cry Forza and Marvel something other. I can't read it those are some painfully bad games Yeah, they are some painfully bad games. I've got better games in the PS in the PS3 than that. I've got two PS4 games: The Last of Us and Watch Dogs. Oh no, and Assassin's Creed. I have none. Well, no, because this point is you having a a game for the PS4 or Xbox when you haven't got an Xbox. That would just be silly. No. Right, how are we doing? Uh, ten minutes <coughs> to go to my waypoint. So behind me, oh, over there is Chaos taking the other route. So he's going to come up around the um, eastern side of the island because the airport's probably over there somewhere. And Chris is stupidly following me. Yeah, I'm pretty much alongside, look on the nav map now, um, pretty much alongside where the airport is, but I'm coming up to here and then coming back down again. Yeah, one thing I am impressed with the Xbox, I've been using it as a media player and as a Blu-ray player, and wow, it's pretty good on sound, even compared to the old Xbox One. It sounds good, um, and yeah, really, really good. So I'm using that to watch uh, Game of Thrones at the moment. So I've got the old Xbox here connected to the, up to the gaming rig, and the new one's connected up to the main telly. I wish I'd have spent the extra money there and bought the uh, the X. But hey ho. So yeah, so I've got to fly up to sort of there, turn right, and then come in on heading on 186, hopefully then to land on the runway. That's the plan. I just hope for you to land on the runway too. Uh, 8 minutes 56. And then yes, very well, uh, maybe we'll carry on this journey um, next Sunday, where we'll go up to um, Lanzarote, and then back down to the mainland. So if I come back up to here again, think. Um, so yeah, we've got to Lanzarote next time, then come back down to here. So use that as our point of call for the mainland. And then the aim is that we're going to come over to here. Um, so Cape Verde, so we're going to come to there, then back into the mainland again. And then we really want to get down to here. Uh, we want to get down to the Ascension Islands. Um, and then into Jamestown, um, into here, and then over here. So it's that, this, that leg is the one that's been uh, proving to be difficult. Because currently I haven't got a plane. The PT-12 I've got might make it. Uh, I haven't got a plane that will do that sort of 1,500 miles. Because um, that's a fair bit of distance all over water. Um, there to there, I don't think it should be a problem. And then there inland again could be an issue uh, getting into Namib Namibia. Um, and then the plan is to South Africa, which is where Chris uh, is from, um, and then Madagascar, up round through southern India, down. I want to do a complete flight across Australia, um, or maybe go around the outside of it. It's going to cross the middle, it'll be boring. Uh, down to New Zealand, and then maybe back up the other side here. Um, and there's lots of little airports, lots of little islands here. So a bit of island hopping to get us back to the States. Um, so yeah, yes, Tux, that's why I keep whining about 1500 mile range. Because I need a plane 
to be able to do that journey. The 737s do that? Yeah, but you can't land one at the Ascension Islands. Oh. Too big. Mm. So Ascension it, Islands, I think, would be okay. It's St. Helena, which would be a problem. Oh, well, there you go. It's only 5,000 foot runway. So, and I really want to do, I really want to stay with props, although I've got the CRJ. Um, I, I really want to do the whole, the whole thing with prop aircraft. So it might be that I've got to buy the TBM um, or the PC-12. Um, Chris reckons that sort of 25, 28,000 feet sort of in a gentle cruise might do it. Actually, I might do that after yeah, this. Right after this journey I might take take off in the PC-12 uh, fill it up take off and then see what it's going to tell me as range because it tells you on the display what the range is there's another plane which can do 1500 miles of DC-3 mm -hmm. that would be interesting <coughs> that would be a long flight yeah it's not a fast plane that's for sure actually I watched a YouTube video earlier on um, on the company that uh, puts a turboprop on a DC-3 um, Basler turbo conversions. Um, I'll be honest, that looks a nice bit of kit with a turbo prop on it. Yeah, it just doesn't have those radial engines. No, that was a few, so a few of the comments was shame they lost the noise, but it keeps them flying. True. So yes, that's Tux. Uh, why I need that fifteen hundred mile range is to get down to the Ascension Islands, um, and that's just one of those places that you've got to fly into it, and yeah. There's no other way I'm going to be able to fly into that. But I'd love to do the whole lot with props. Because so far I have. Um, I haven't flown a jet yet on all these tricks we're doing. So I would love to do the whole lot with prop aircraft. And it's finding that prop. Yeah, I might jump in the PC-12 after this and just give it a go. Um, see what it tells me at the, the range is. I can't see in the airport yet. You will do. Is it behind that big? Is it behind that big mountain? <laughs> uh, probably, actually. Um, no. Right, I'm four minutes away from my uh, waypoint. The airport is probably over th in there. I'm gonna have to come out around that. Um, where are you, chaos? Yeah, keep keep following it round. Yeah, I'm gonna come out and around. I'm, well, Chris is pretty much bang opposite it now. So just keep, it is right on the coast, so just keep following the coast. So the airport is over there somewhere, I think. So when I get to my waypoint in three minutes, I need to turn on a heading of 186 degrees. That should put me on a runway heading. And according to little nav map, that should then bring me straight back in. So we're doing okay at the moment. Yeah, I think there's a weather issue. Whether my weather turned off after the update, it does seem very calm up here and no clouds. I still got a 14 knot wind. Yeah, I've got nothing. Zero. But actually, no little nav map saying zero. Yeah, mine says 14 knots, sort of north westerly. Yeah, okay. So yes, maybe more um, flight sim or X-plane flights, where a group of us get together a couple, twice a week. On a Wednesday night we carry on the um, American leg, because on a Wednesday evening it's going to be daylight in America. Um, so that's going to be um, Key West up through the Bahamas and then down through South America where we want to get to the Falkland Islands is the aim. And then uh, on the uh, on a Sunday afternoon, it's carrying on from here, uh, say down to the Ascension Islands. Uh, which weather source are you using? And don't know about. I've got no idea. almost say now I actually prefer this plane to the G1000 version. Where are you flying? The 172. Oh. But it hasn't got the G1000 in it. Oh. It's got proper gauges. And I've got, it has got a nav which works in the same way as yours. Um, but 
uh, yeah, I actually prefer looking at the proper proper gauges rather than all the digital stuff. I've, I've got the rep version. I've got the um, reality enhanced version as well. But I couldn't get on with that because I couldn't start it. I kept flooding it. Right, so 1 minute 30 to go so I get to my waypoint. So the runway is going to be down there, I think. So I can do it descending. So let's make that a thing. Let's go down to two and a half thousand or two thousand. And then back the throttle off while we do that. I need to change my heading now to off. OBS just said I had some encoding issues. I think it's because I'm uh, pushing out to 1080p at 60 FPS. I think OBS is liking that and me running this and doing everything as well. I really must get that streaming PC sorted out. One day. Right, arriving waypoint. Ooh. So, if I now turn. I think I can see the airport now. Yay. Right. In terms of on the runway heading. And somewhere in front of me. Should appear. An airport. And I think there it is down there. There we go, we have the airport in sight. I'm just under five minutes out now. Um, yeah, I should be there in less than that. So, sending down, come down slightly, come down to a thousand feet, and we'll turn Choice of two runways, by looks of things. I thought we had one. Nope, oh, you just popped up on my uh, screen. Yeah, same for me. You're there in front of me now. I think that's what Harrison Ford said the choice of two runways. <laughs> go flying in quite nicely three minutes out happy days so we want to follow off that um, there is only run one runway it's a very wide taxiway I don't mind whichever <laughs> right autopilot off right so me and Chaos now are going to come in on the same runway from different directions this isn't going to be messy at all <laughs> who blinks first yeah so in that case I shall uh, I do <laughs> yeah <laughs> Point a little nab map, I'm closer than you are, so. Uh, I'm 
two minutes opening. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take the autopilot off. Yeah, I've literally just given this thing the beans just to uh, try and get in a bit quicker. Again, FAA wouldn't probably approve of what we're doing. <laughs> but I do like the fact I'm getting used to doing those approaches differently now, using the um, using a waypoint rather than going straight to the airport. All right, landing lights on. Oh yeah, I am so done my one. King Air B200 claims a range of 1,755 miles, says Tux. But if the PC-12 would do it, Tux, that's going to be a bit quicker than a King Air as well, isn't it? Or is a King Air quick? What a good landing. No burning, no in the war. Fire screech, but that's fine. The result. Yeah, we're both heading towards each other on the same runway. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Oh. What, um, have, what have you done? Um, no, we're, we're sort of good. Oh, oh no, no, the right, the plane's put itself back out of the right way. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's doing a little, it's doing a little wheelie. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure how that happened. Alright, I'm trying down to a taxiway now. <laughs> Why are you over there? You're over by the water. I'm not in the water. Well, that's a plus. That's a huge plus. It's just my, my front wheel's off the ground. Um, so I can't actually turn anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't quite break in time for the uh, first taxiways. We've got to trundle all the way down the bottom here now. Yeah, we'll be playing when we start now, you <laughs> We landed. I'll just, I'll just turn my lights off in um, here. <laughs> Yeah, I've sort of did land and it just fell apart after that. <laughs> what were you were braking there, weren't you? Did, you? did you brake too heavily or did, no, did you turn while think, you were braking? I think the problem is, I think I, because I got my rudder pedals up against my G29 pedals, I think I got my foot stuck under the G29 pedal and um, I couldn't turn the plane. Ah, yeah, I, I moved the G29 pedals out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. All right, in comes Mr. Brown. But I'm not on the runway. If I'm not causing the hazard. Well, no, and you're not on fire. No, I'm, no, we're not. King Air and PC-12 claim similar cruise speeds. King Air are we tad quicker. PC-12 claims a range of 1,845. So the PC-12 then would make sense for me to do, wouldn't it? Because I've already got it. As much as I'd like to buy another plane, it's pointless if I've got one that's uh, going to do it. Sims and Star flew to landing. 19 points. Landing was great. Right, 
right so GA parking over here And there we go. We have arrived. Some of us not quite on fire. Quite on fire. Oh no, you weren't this time. I might have broken. I think me, uh, me blade things disappeared off the front of me plane. Your blade thing. Yeah, I got like the the pointy bit, but there's no blades attached to it. See, you knocked your propeller off. Looks that way. <laughs> oh. Might need, might need a new plane. <laughs> so that's the King Air over there, is it? The, yeah, the, the spinny cutty bit, says Tux. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's, that's the bit. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Which would hinder <laughs> movement, really, because that's you know, how it moves. Uh, it, it doesn't help anyway. It'd be front wheels up in the air. It's like doing a little weedy. So I, I couldn't steer anyway. <laughs> Even if you did have an engine, you couldn't steer. Yeah. <laughs> so a successful flight. Anyway, <coughs> in comes Chris. Let's see if he can make it without uh, ending up in a fireball. It'd probably be <clears throat> best if I just walk away from the plane. <laughs> yeah, just, just leave it there. Yeah, yeah. yeah chaos broke it. I, you just walk into the terminal. And go, you might want to have a look at that plane over there. I don't know what happens. It was like it. Know. It was like it when I found it. Yeah. yeah. The bit that isn't protected by the casing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, all right. Gone. No, he's talking about jets again. Mm. You wouldn't have that issue if yes. you were in a jet. No, no. There's a jet, little jet thing next to where I am over here. I was looking at those airliners over there parked up. They look so cool. <laughs> I don't know what that little thing is next to me. It's got one little jet strapped to its back. And like a V-shaped uh, tailplane. Cirrus SF-50. You have one of those. Oh, do I? Okay. Apparently I've got one of those. It's got a jet on it, though. I don't want to do that. Um, that's the King Air over there, then. Oh, it's a Cirrus jet. Yeah, that's what Toxie just said. I thought in these days of health and safety, that would be a thing by now. What? Covering the, the spinny bits with something. That would sort of hinder. They put a cowling around that because of health and safety. That, that wouldn't really work, would it? Um, yeah. See, chaos gets it. Says Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn right. <laughs> right. So we wait for Chris to land. God, he takes a long time to land, doesn't he? He does things properly. <laughs> oh, uh, I think that's a King Air ninety, but gives you an idea. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll, um, I'll jump in the PC-12 um, in a minute and um, see what range it gives me if I get it up to 28,000 feet. And if it's going to do that sort of journey, then um, I may as well use a PC-12. Well, at least we're all on the same island. Might be in different parts, but... Is Chris actually moving? Because I can't tell. <laughs> he does appear to be moving. Okay. No, I just needed a quick break, so I stopped up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just put the handbrake on. You paused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just put the handbrake on, leave it here for a minute. Well, you went down and ch chucked a chicken in the uh, oven. Uh, yeah, that was fine. But I can't pronounce that. Um, Lucas, uh, hello. I got the end bit. I'm waiting on Chris to land. Tux is over there um, resting. I'm not over Tux there. Tux over there. Chaos is over there resting. You stop insulting me. <laughs> I can't help it. I was just reading Tux's <laughs> message and got confused. Well, I won't back and come on here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I think because Tux is too scared now. I think he did, did one flight with us and then gave up. How very dare you, says Tux. Exactly. <laughs> I could agree with him more. Well, Tux is probably more insulted that I've got him confused with you. Hey. Uh, we're at um, Fuerteventura uh, Airport. Yeah. Um, there we go. Well, there's someone on the other island on Lanzarote called Captain Nagy. Obviously, nags a lot. So, yeah, waiting for Chris to... Uh... <laughs> Over Crystal Land. Uh, believe me, Sam, it, it's no. Yeah, come to think of it, I've never seen Tux or Chaos in the same room. They've never actually met, I don't think. Mm, no, he hasn't had the pleasure. No, no, he haven't met yet. Because <laughs> the last two flights him shows, um, Tux hasn't bothered to come to. I want to try and do something at Easter. That's the next my next thing, I think. All right, Chris is on the ground. As long as he's still got his spinny cutty bit. Oh, you've never seen Tux in the same room as the Queen either. Yeah, again, I think that's pushing the boundaries a bit, Tux, there. I don't think you can get the two of those, you, you and the Queen, confused. No, she puts milk in her tea first. Yeah. Uh, Boris Johnson, maybe. Um... <laughs> wait for it come on Sam hey, yeah <laughs> <laughs> right so Chris is down um, wait for my taxi over here and then we will uh, we'll call it a day for this flight so we'll carry on from here again next Sunday um, so we'll, we'll fly off to Lanzarote and then over to the mainland um, continuing the 172s when we get to, when we get to the mainland may switch it up and step up a gear from the 172 so we use this over to the mainland uh, and then jump it up a notch because it's a, a bit longer legs then uh, I might jump back in the Kodiak or something I might need a new plane well, there's some stock stuff you can use there's the um... no no I, mean, I need a new plane mine's broke alright I'll say some, some of the stock stuff will, will be fine for the next legs the um, the King Air I think Chris was fancy dand in. I know he does it all properly and everything. I suppose he's got all the correct lights on and everything. He probably has. I've turned all mine off now. And he stopped at the first taxiway. I bet I I couldn't. I didn't get that. I couldn't. Hey, I couldn't break far like fast enough. Across the grass. <laughs> Well, Chaos can't come over here and park next to me because, you know, his plane's I, slightly no. abandoned over there. Um, but I'll wait for Chris I'm, to come over I'm here. I'm in the pub. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's left his plane there. He's gone to the pub. I just had to steer around the record. <laughs> yeah, they put they put cones out around it and everything. All right, so he's going to come all the way down to that. Oh, God, that's all the way down oh, to that. You two just park over there. That's fine. Well, we are because that's where we're supposed to park. didn't say that on the manual it, this is generally general aviation parking over here although I'm not actually parked in a bay I'm parked just as you I'm sort of parked on the entrance as you come in so but I'm, ne I'm near another plane it's fine just someone paint a, a yeah, white line chicken. no my plane's not on fire this time I just lost a bit yeah Gibraltar's a fun air airport I took off from there in the dark a few weeks ago and um took off turned left crashed into the mountain that was interesting all right so here comes Chris there we go once Chris has stopped we will call it a day so a bit of uh, non autopilot flying and then uh, that last leg with the autopilot and there is uh, Chris parked behind the little Cirrus jet cool right well I shall end that there um, thanks to uh, Chaos for uh,
coming along for the journey. Uh, you managed um, uh, zero successful landings out of two. So well done. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one ended up in the fireball, and that one you ended up stuck with no propeller. Although you did land, I suppose. Just, just a mishap. <laughs> it's just a mishap. We'll blame Tuck somewhere. Um, and Mr. Brown, as always, did it perfectly, I should imagine. Uh, not quite, but good enough. Absolutely. So thank you, guys. Um, we'll be back again on uh, Wednesday night, um, hopefully, but possibly with these two um, as well, and maybe even get Sam behind his uh, um, yoke on Wednesday get night. Get him off his Xbox, obviously. Yeah, get him off his Xbox, and where we'll carry on our flight in uh, Florida um, with a plane with floats on. Um, landing on the water down near Key West what can possibly happen uh, there so that's Wednesday night um, and then back on Friday night with some more train sim and then back next Saturday with uh, I don't know what yet we'll do next Saturday so thank you guys and um, you. we'll uh, catch you again next time bye bye all bye 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 bye